Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. It's Prophet Yaquim. And God just put this word on my spirit today to let y'all know about selflessness. Selflessness. Something as a follower of Jesus Christ, we all need to work on, even myself. And what is self selflessness? It's just doing for people even when they don't want to do for you. That's what Jesus was doing. He was healing the sick, you know, cleansing people of their sins, stepping in when no one else wanted to step in, you know, because we all wish we had somebody behind us who was just down for us through thick and thin. You know, we all want love in this life. Don't, even the people in the world, you know, they want love too. Deep down inside everybody's heart, they desire love. They desire love. Some people are just too proud to want to receive it. Some people got too much pride. Some people are too afraid to reach out and to be to be vulnerable. So this is why selflessness is so important because having a prideful heart or thinking you know it all can definitely lead you down a path where you're blocking your own blessings. You're blocking the people God want for you. And you're just doing yourself a huge disservice in your life. This life is short. You know, you want to have the people in your life who really want you to succeed, who really want you to be the best version of you. Or just, you know, just people around you who generally care about you. You know what I'm saying? Everything got to be about financials. Everything got to be about money. Just having people around you who care about your mentality, your emotionality, your spirituality, and your walk with God, you know, they care about what you're doing in your life, you know, they don't try to diminish you or put you down, but they just try to exalt you any way possible, right, and in Luke 9 and 23, it says, and he said to them all, oh, if any man come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me, see, when you are following Christ, you have to deny yourself daily. It's daily. You know, that's why, you know, I talk to a lot of people and they say that they're believers, they're followers of Christ, you know, they're Christians, but people are not denying themselves daily, nor picking up their cross. You know what I'm saying? It's really easy to spot somebody because, you know, when you start preaching the gospel to them and it irritates their demons, that person is not following Christ. They're not, right? And they, they can say they read the Bible, all these things. People be lying. Like, I, that's what I learned. A lot of people be lying. I already knew that, but, like, now on, like, a, a bigger scale, right? People be lying. Definitely selfish, not selfless. So, and, I mean, I don't take it personal. I tell them I'm not, you know, here to judge or condemn. You know, God is the ultimate judger. He definitely going to judge you regardless. So, I'm just here to shed light. What God want me to shed light on. I'm just here to bring the word that God want me to bring. And that's what it takes, man. You got to deny yourself daily. So whatever addictions you're going through, even if it's a feeling, right? For obedience is better than sacrifice. And I have to tell myself this every single day. Because we can get caught up in our emotions of having sudden fears or having doubts in ourselves. When that's the time when... You should really be leaning on God's strength. When you have a doubt or sudden fears, for God says, be not afraid of sudden fears. That's the time where you got to lead on Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus, the righteousness of Jesus to, so he can give you strength in that time of weakness, that sudden weakness in your life. And I promise you, once you do the thing that you was afraid to do or you had fear of doing, you feel so good about yourself. You feel so good. You really do. It's a, a joy that you can't explain. It's a big joy, though. And God is definitely happy for you. The heavens are clapping for you, you know, because you are being exalted in the kingdom of heaven, right? And in 2 Corinthians 9 and 7, it says, Every man according as he proposes in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly, or of necessity. God for God loveth a cheerful giver. 
Meaning that tit for tat. Like, it's crazy because we have people who give to us, but they automatically expect something in return. You know what I'm saying? That's not what God means. That's somebody who's doing something out of necessity, something out of grudgingly. Like, you owe them something. When they gave to you for free, you know what I'm saying? And don't fall victim to that. If anything seems forced upon you, you do not have to do it. You know, you gotta learn how to how to say no. That vitamin N, no, no. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know how to create boundaries for yourself and stand on those. That's why God say stand firm, be unmovable, right? And that's all you gonna learn gradually. You know, so be patient with yourself as well. But learn how to say no. You know, you're not obligated to give to someone because they gave to you out of kindness of their heart. And people could take that very personally when you don't give back to them when they gave to you. Like, but that's how you you miss your blessings. You know what I'm saying? That's not a cheerful giver. That's someone who is selfish, not selfless. So God love a cheerful giver. If you have it and it's on your spirit to do it, then do it. Do it cheerfully. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing when you can see how much you can make somebody day by doing something so, so small like you know feeding the homeless or giving to someone in need. For God make it rain on the just and the unjust. God blesses the righteous and God blesses the wicked. Even when the wicked don't want to acknowledge God, he's still blessing them. He really is. So just never take things for granted and don't feel obligated to do anything that you feel is forced. And you gotta feel it on your spirit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta really have that discernment. And I'll make a video about that. And you gotta know when to hold them, fold them, and walk away. In Jesus' name. And in Proverbs 19 and 7, 19 and 17, excuse me. He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord. And that which he hath given the Lord will pay again. Amen. So the Lord will repay you in this life or the next. He sees what you do. Anything you do for God, he's a just God. You will be repaid in his timing. You have to wait on the Lord. And that's why you got to be watchful, be sober, be vigilant. For the devil is out here like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Trying to steal your blessings. So that's why you got to be, you know, you got to be watchful. You got to be looking. Because God blessing could be around the corner, but you ain't paying attention because you weren't about yesterday. You weren't about something that happened, you know, five hours ago, right? So you can miss something that's right in front of you in that moment. You know what I'm saying? So you got to make sure just to always have a renewed mind and not be stuck on certain situations. All right. So that's all for my selflessness. You know what I'm saying? Just doing for people that people wouldn't even do for you. Because at the end of the day, you'd be surprised how your act of kindness and sincerity can really help somebody in that hour, in that minute, in that second. And I just pray y'all receive this word with love and compassion. I pray that you're having a good morning. I pray that your day goes smoothly. That God can bless you with a miracle today. And I hope you got edified from this video. Again, like, comment, and subscribe. God bless all my new subscribers. I appreciate y'all so much. And in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you.